He is a tremendous actor, a true blue movie star in every way. He's lent a great amount of dignity on celluloid, nationally and internationally, and television. She's gorgeous, she's fantastic, she's fabulous, possibly the lead fashionista of our country. And with her two recent back-to-back -back successes, she's on her way in every way. I think I said possibly, I think she is the lead fashionista of our country. Please welcome the most glamorous father-daughter duo in the business, Sonam and Anil Kapoor. Walking slow because of her, huh? Yeah, otherwise, otherwise you would have come faster. running down. You would have come running down. Come running down. Hello. Welcome to Coffee with Karan. Welcome back. Thank you. Come. So, Sonam, now when we talk about you, of course, the yeah. first thing that comes to our mind is how you've managed to make this humongous place for yourself in the fashion world as well. Yeah. Of course, as I said in my introduction, your two films have really set you on the right path, yeah. even as a movie actress and a star. Yeah. But I mean, your fashion Easter image just kind of precedes everything else you've done. Mm -hmm. On a certain level, does that excite you, impress you? Does that make you nervous because you feel that you should also be known as an actress well, along with that? Basically, I think the biggest movie stars ever in this world were all fashion icons. Right. So whether it's an Audrey Hepburn, whether it's a Marilyn Monroe, Catherine Hepburn, Mila Kumari, um, Sharmila Tagore, whoever... Rekha. Rekha. Um, <clears throat> they've always been fashion icons. They've always set trends. And the kind of movies that I do, um, whether it's a Ranjana, whether it's a Mossam, whether it's a Bhag Milka Bhag, whether it's an I Hate Love Stories, right. um, they're all girl next door or they're all real girls. Right. That's what the thing is. The masses like me as a regular, normal girl. Those are the people who see my films. That's why my films do the kind of business that they do. But the classes who, who read Vogue or read, uh, who see Coffee with Karan or whatever, they like me as a fashion icon. So I, I think I'm catering to both sides. Right. Um, in a way. But when it, does it bother you when you're not labelled as like one of the lead act, like acting, performance-wise, and you're getting there? Yeah. And it, because you're, but you're a superstar, you yeah. see, you have that image and yeah. vibe, and you always walk yeah. tall like one. Yeah. But does that bother you when they talk about other actresses more in the acting department? Well, you know, the thing about the industry is if, if, they do, if you're not good-looking, they think you're a good actor. What you did for Indian television was fantastic. It went on to change the syntax of Indian television. Humble again. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> now the Humility Act. Yeah. Yeah. To tell you. So, uh, of course, that's. I don't think that was a question. It was a compliment. Yeah. So please accept it graciously. <laughs> accept. Were you proud of that when you did that? I didn't do anything. You know, honestly speaking, I <laughs> think... This is the one who is up there. This is the one who is up there. This is the one I think in <laughs> a lot of ways... Um, he played Jack Bauer, dude. He played Jack Bauer. <laughs> and um, honestly, like, you know, television is... is You can't consider television an idiot box anymore. Right. You know, according to me, I think uh, in a lot of ways, everybody's sitting and watching TV these right. days. Movies come on TV like two days after they release, you know. And they and do better sometimes on TV te than they do, they do in the theatres. Yeah. So I think it's such an untapped uh, place for good content because right. there are only like rubbish reality shows that are doing well or like... <laughs> Which I'm half judging. of them Karan is there. Yeah. I'm judging <laughs> quite a few of those half. It's fine. But uh, they're also fun, you know, you have talented people yeah, and yeah. whatever. Crazy but you won't cast you in your film, in his film. <laughs> it's I'm okay, he'll good. always cast me. I'm his friend. Huh. Uh, and I'm talented. But then besides the point, but what I'm trying to say is that... <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that when you... You, you have to have good content. And yeah. I think there's so much space for it. And this is rapid fire round time. Anila, you said. All right, who should we start with? I think we should start with dad. Are they, uh... Yeah, I think so too. Of course, seniority, even though you don't um... admit it. All right, are you ready, AK? Oh, God, yeah. One person who should never think of dating Sonam? Ranveer Kapoor. Okay. <gasps> if you were unmarried, who's the one actress you'd like to take on a romantic date? No, yeah, too scared, yeah. But you're unmarried. So still, who is... <laughs> you know, <laughs> even if I'm unmarried, I still get scared, yeah. <laughs> to really, I, I can't even dream. Because if I dream, she'll come to know, Sunita. <laughs> Seriously. So petrified of mom. Okay. All right, Sonam, I'm going to move the I'm going to ask a question. on to you. Yes, let's see how you do. What is the one thing the following have that you don't? Katrina Kaif. A 200 crore film. Deepika Padukone. And over-enthusiastic PR team. If you were playing truth or dare with the following people and you could ask them anything or make them do anything, what would you do? Ranbir Kapoor. I mean, honestly, I think uh, the only thing that the, is for him to like make a serious commitment and okay. get married, I think that's the only thing I would dare him to do. Farhan Akhtar. I'll never wear a shirt. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. 
Okay, an idea that changed your life. An idea that changed my life. I think uh, was doing Ranjana. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fashion advice to the following: Pariniti Chopra. Don't wear those tight clothes, man. Alia Bhatt. Dress her age. <laughs> <laughs>